What is going on, Chiefs Kingdom? My name is Jay Sanders, and the roster deadline has officially passed, which means the 53 players that will be on the Chiefs roster have been shown, and the Chiefs have cut 36 players as well. We're going to go through all 36 and tell you about all 53 players that made the roster. But before we get into that, I have a challenge for you. See, I'm the new guy still here at Chat Sports, and they've challenged me. The bosses at Chat Sports have challenged me to get 20 subs on this video. And I think we can do it. I know Chiefs Kingdom is amazing. Everywhere we go, Patrick Mahomes is going to ball out on the field. Well, I want to ball out here on the Chiefs reports. So let's get 20 subs on this video. Let's dive right into the players that were cut in the QB room. Shane Bouchelle and Chris Ledukin. Running backs, Eric Prince, LaMichael Pirod, and Jerion Ely. In the wide receiver room, Ty Freifogel, Isaiah Gatherings, Jawan Green, Cornell Powell, and Ty Scott, along with Nico Remahio. The tight ends that were cut, Kendall Blanton and Matt Bushman. In the offensive line, it's Austin Reeder, Sebastian Gutierrez, Jerome Carver, Darian Kennard, Chuck Wibaka, Godrick, Anderson Hardy, Danny Shelton on the defensive line that starts our defensive area. Past that, we have Phil Hoskins, Daniel Wise, Chris Williams, Truman Jones, Joshua Kando, Cole Christensen in the linebacker, Oluduku Fadukasi as also a linebacker, the cornerbacks that were cut, Echo Boido, and DiCaprio Buda. We'll talk more about him in just a moment. And then secondary, we're going with Reese Taylor at the safety position along with Dion Bush, Anthony Cook, Lamar Jackson, Durian Lowe, Isaiah Norman, and Khalif Halasai. So those are the guys that were cut. Now, from there, we go into who made the roster. So I saw that Shane Bouchelle didn't make it, Crystal Dukin didn't make it, which means the two QBs that the Chiefs are going to go with this season is obviously Patrick Mahomes, and the behind him, Blaine Gabbert, won the two spot, and he won the only quarterback spot left on the roster. Uh, see, the Chiefs kind of decided that quarterback was a room they have filled with Mahomes and Gabbert. They feel comfortable with them. So there's no reason to waste another roster spot with Bouchelle or Oladukin. Could see one of them on the practice squad, which we'll talk about more, more about that tomorrow. On the running back side of things, you saw the cuts. Here's the guys who made it. Isaiah Pacheco, Jarek McKinnon, and Clyde edwards elaire Kind of surprising here that LaMichael Pirine did not get on this squad. I think that overall, he had a really good preseason, and he, wasn't, he didn't make it. Then Eric Prince, the UDFA, uh, I want to say he had a hot start to the preseason and then kind of tapered off toward the end, so that's probably why he didn't make it. But I'm a little su surprised P. Ryan didn't make it. Given that, that means CEH, he's your running back three, and if you're going to get rid of him, it's going to be in a trade because uh, you're not going to go with two running backs in this system from here on out, so... We'll have to see what happens with that throughout the season, but as of right now, CEH is your RB3. In the wide receiver room, this was a talked about position. It got a little less complicated this morning with the trade, but here are the guys who made the roster. Not surprisingly, at the top, Kadarius Tony, Marquez Valdez, Scantling, Sky Moore, and Rasheed Rice. Behind them, Richie James, Justin Watson, and Justin Ross. I mentioned the trade. Well, Amir Smith Marset, he was traded today, as I mentioned. He will be heading to Carolina and trade for the conditional 2025 seventh round pick. That made the wide receiver cuts today a lot easier because him, ISM, was fighting with Justin Ross, Justin Watson, and along with Richie James to some extent. So with him being traded, it cleared up space. I got to be honest, though, I wanted ISM on the squad. He had a really good preseason. He was a I'm not going to say fan favorite because you can't really have that in preseason, but his energy was exuded out in every time we saw him. And the interviews after the Browns game, he actually he was a part of a Twitter video that Kansas City posted after the game. And you could just tell he was happy to be there. He was happy to be a part of the squad. And I'm happy for him in some ways because he's going to make that 53-man roster in Carolina. So good for him. Tough on the Chiefs side because I think he has a future, but again, we don't truly know. All right, so with the ISM trade, I want you to grade this wide receiver room. A, B, C, D, or F. I think overall, this wide receiver room is ability of a B. I think with Patrick Mahomes, it could be an A. We can see, and we've seen it in the past, Mahomes can elevate any receiver to a caliber that maybe they couldn't be with a different quarterback. So I'm going to say overall, this wide receiver room is a B. I like Kadarius Toney. I don't know if he's necessarily a one, but I think Sky Moore could be the one by the end of the season. We'll have to find out. Ross is a really good depth guy. He could be wide receiver four, three, maybe even two by the end of the season. I think the sky is the limit for him. I'm going B, but again, with Patrick Mahomes, easily could be an A by the end of the season. 
Let's go to tight end and not surprising here. Travis Kelsey, Noah Gray, and Blake Well, Blake Bell, excuse me. Not surprised at all. I'm not. There's there's really nothing here that was questionable. You could say Bushman, but overall I don't think he had an impressive enough preseason to push himself into the roster, especially with the Chiefs only keeping three tight ends. So no surprises there. I think that's really all I need to say about the tight ends as Let's move into the offensive line area. Donovan Smith, Joe Tooney, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith, and Jawan Taylor are your starters. And the backups, you have Prince Tinga, Wadigo, Mac Caliende, Caliendo, Nick Allegretti, Wanya Morris, and Lucas Niang. I think the notable cut here was Darian Kennard because last year he made the squad with a good preseason week three and some good training camp along with practice sessions. This year, not so much. And I think that comes to the fact that this offensive line was really good in the preseason. They, project, they protected Patrick Will with the starters, and the depth I don't think is necessarily needed as much as it was last year due to injuries and things that have happened. So Kennard just got beat out. That's, that's all simply it is. Uh, tough for the guy, but at the same time, you got to make the right choices, and he didn't fit on this squad. With that, I want to start the open, open the, I have an open-ended question for you. Did Brett Veach and Andy Reid make the right choices? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I think they definitely have. I think that I'm typing, yeah, typing Y in the comments all day long because I like what they did. I think they made some tough decisions, but some decisions that needed to be made. I want you to subscribe to the Chief Support as well. I mentioned earlier in the video, I need 20 subscribers today to prove the bosses here at Chat Sports wrong. So subscribe and turn on notifications because there's going to be a load of news coming throughout this week. We still have practice squad and possible uh, free agent targets coming up here. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and so you never miss a video here on the Chiefs report. Let's go into the defensive line. And Michael Dana, Derek Nadi, Keandre Coburn, and George Karloftis are your starters. Behind them, it's a lot of depth position. I like the trade for Neil Farrell Jr. Again, that trade was with the Raiders today. The Raiders received the 2024 sixth round pick from the Chiefs. Overall, this defensive line, I think, has a little more depth than it did at the start of the day. But you're still missing Chris Jones. You're still missing Charles Owen Minahue. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to make of this line. In some ways, I think it could be okay. I think the depth is there that you could probably put some guys in and it could work out. But Jones and I'm in here being exempt and not having Jones is really going to tough, really kind of tough. Now, with the roster deadline passing today, he is officially placed on reserve as it did not report list. And so his holdout will go on and uh, you see Adam Schefter there. There's no end currently in sight and that, is really, really scary as I think that the Chiefs really need Chris Jones on this squad. He needs to kind of be there to help push that defense, be the captain of that defensive line, and really manage the trenches where right now I, Carl Loftus is going to have to be that guy, and a guy who's in his second year, that's going to be pretty tough. In the linebacker room, let's switch over to that. We have Willie Gay, Nick Bolton, and Leo Chanel. Not surprising here. I think overall we had pretty obvious choices with the linebacker, Drew Drew Tranquil, Jack Cochran, and Cam Jones, I like him making the squad. I, I think that he deserved a spot. He really played well in the preseason enough to earn it. He did get hurt in the last bit of that Browns preseason game, but with him making the roster, I believe that means there's nothing to be worried about there. I think he has a chance to come out here and prove himself and possibly play his way into some really meaningful playing time, not just like, oh, the Chiefs are up by 30, the Chiefs are, it's the fourth quarter with only that left. I think there's potential for him to go in in some very important situations, and I like it. Young guy, let him get out there. Let him try. I think that's the best you can do. I want you to like the video if you love the Chiefs, because I love the Chiefs, and I want to know that you love the Chiefs too. So why don't you do me a favor, like the video. Again, we have all the Chiefs content news rumors. Like the video, and just stick around here on the Chiefs report. As we move into the cornerback room, Trent McDuffie, Jalen Watson, Legereus Sneed are your starters. Behind him, it's Joshua Williams and Nick Jones. Uh, here's the notable cuts. Echo Boydo and DiCaprio Boodle. DiCaprio Boodle, I think an obvious cut. He did have that interception in that last game against the Browns on the preseason week three. He was pretty good in pass coverage. He had a pass deflection. But overall, when you just have one good game and that's why, oh, because you had that good game, we should put you on the roster, that's not how that really works. That's just, that's kind of too little too late at that point. Echo Boydo's a young guy. I kind of wish that he may have stayed around on the 53 men. But again, he's young. Maybe he can end up on the practice squad. We can find out that tomorrow.
that's kind of my hope. He's a Kansas State guy. He looked, I'm not going to say bad in the preseason. He didn't necessarily look good. I think he has a shot to improve with the right training. So I'm hoping to see him on the practice squad possibly tomorrow. In the Chiefs' safety room, we have Brian Cook, Justin Reed, Mike Edwards, and Shamari Connor. I like this. I like this. I think that the, the cuts, Deion Bush and Anthony Cook, they were true. I, I think those were the two that needed to be cut. I don't think they did anything special. And with Shamari Connor showing out in the preseason, Connor will play. He is going to get playing time. He is not only going to get playing time, I think just like Cam, Cam, he is going to have meaningful playing time. He's going to go in in some very probably big situations. I think he still has time to grow and build himself, but when you have the people in front of you like Justin Reed to train you, man, I like what the future holds for Shamari Connor, especially with the training of Brian Cook as well and Justin Reed, who can really make this guy into something special. The specialist, no surprise here, Harrison Bucker, Tommy Townsend, and James Winchester, the kicker, punter, and long snapper. Uh, not much to say, this is what was projected, this is what it was last year, this is what it was this year, and it's what it will hopefully be for a while. Tommy Townsend, one of the better punters in the league, Harrison Bucker, I would say a top three kicker in the league. You like what you have here, specialist, uh, nothing too special there, I think that's the biggest thing. All right, before I let you go today, subscribe again to the Chief Support, youtube.com slash Chiefs Chiefs TV. We have all the latest news, rumors, reports, and again, practice squad, that opens up tomorrow. There's also free agents that the Chiefs may target, and a lot of stuff happening as we're now a week, a little, a little over a week away from the opener against the Lions. So make sure you're subscribed to notifications and never miss a Chiefs report.